We talk about being solid as a rock, or about someone being our rock, meaning that they're our strength, a rock that we lean on for support when we feel troubled. The Rock of Gibraltar has always been a stronghold, and so much more than just a large piece of limestone. Khibal Tarek, Tarek's mountain, has survived several sieges and battles throughout history. Its strategic position at the entrance to the Mediterranean has always been its strength and the reason why so many dominating forces have fought to control and conquer it. 1607 saw the Battle of Gibraltar. 1704 saw the capture of Gibraltar. 1779 to 1783 saw the Great Siege of Gibraltar and not forgetting the Battle of Trafalgar with Admiral Nelson in 1805, which was fought in the Straits. A small graveyard containing headstones of sailors who lost their lives during the battle still remains to this day. In Greek mythology, the god Hercules was famous for his strength, so it can be of no surprise that Gibraltar is one of the pillars of Hercules. The hymn, Rock of Ages, was a favourite of Prince Albert, and also of Bing Crosby, who recorded it in 1949. The hymn describes Jesus as being the rock. The Bible verse from Matthew 16, verse 18 says, And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Could this be a reference to Gibraltar? The hymn was written by Augustus Montague Toplady in 1775, ironically just before the Great Siege of Gibraltar, so it would be nice to think so. In recent history, the people of Gibraltar have had to endure more lockdowns than most, with the longest being for 17 years when the border was closed and families were separated. Things are now easier at the border for Gibraltarians and there still remains the prospect of Gibraltar becoming a full member of the Schengen area of Europe in their own right. Whatever happens in the ongoing talks in the future, there can be no doubt that the present Chief Minister of Gibraltar and his government will do their best for their country and the Gibraltarian people, as they have done throughout their time in office. Thankfully, the days of battles in Gibraltar are long gone, along with sieges and closed borders. Gibraltar and the neighbouring Campo can look to a bright, peaceful and prosperous future. So what could be the future for Gibraltar? How could the country and the neighbouring lands further prosper? What natural assets does the country have? Her strength has always been in her geographical position, and nature is trying to show us the way. Gibraltar has always been a sanctuary for migratory birds, a place for resting and roosting. The natural vibrations and energy of the area are calming and restful. In the recent past, the British military would send troops to Gibraltar after combat for R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. The Levanta cloud that naturally forms at the top of the rock gives the air a type of protection and with the views over to Africa and the surrounding waters, there can be no doubt that this is one of the most beautiful parts of the world, giving rise to the whereabouts of Atlantis. The rock is a natural healer with strong spiritual healing energy. It's a natural wellness center for the world and could be promoted as exactly that, a sanctuary for healing, a rock of ages. <laughs>